Hi Capricorn, welcome to this reading. You might find it resonates more though if this is your um, moon or rising sign, but let's see. So, Ten of Pentacles. Wow, okay, straight up then. So for some divine feminines um, watching, your masculine is maybe in a karmic situation and you're quite literally watching tarot readings about maybe what's going on with their third party, what's happening with their karmic, what is going on um in this other situation maybe your masculine isn't speaking maybe they're even doing things like making higher levels of commitment to this karmic and you're trying to figure out wait are they genuinely happy or are they just pretending um so don't be alarmed this is not me saying surprise your masculine is getting married this is me saying you've come here knowing this already so if you don't have this information then it's it's not applicable um it might just be you trying to figure out what's going on on their side um we have the star aquarius <clears throat> three of cups what's going on for the divine feminines and we have the eight of cups in the reverse okay yeah i feel um the collective that i'm tapping into today has been trying to figure things out but they haven't been getting clear answers or communication from the masculine they've been trying to figure it out through other means we have the queen of pentacles in reverse um yeah exactly i think that's a, a very, very strong message that i know won't apply to everyone but if there's a third party on the masculine side whether it's um a spouse, karmic, boss, parent, next door neighbour who for some reason is very involved. Um, I feel like the feminine is trying to really see what is going on in that situation. Whether they're trying to see are things developing, are things breaking down, what is the influence this third party has on my divine masculine, what are they saying to my divine masculine, are they talking about me, are they influencing my connection with my masculine, if so how? We've got the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Oh. We've got the King of Swords reversed and we have the Moon. So we've got Pisces energy there. Hmm. Okay, maybe some frustration as well. The Divine Masculine, as far as the Divine Feminine is concerned, is almost... <laughs> not acknowledging or not admitting something about this connection or there's something going on energetically i'm looking at the two crystal balls here and in this situation we've got three people ignoring the crystal ball pretending they don't see it they're involved in whatever they're doing this king of swords he's pretending he's focusing on his writing he's not interested in the crystal ball and yet there is still this it feels to me like communication going between them um so the feminine could be feeling that no matter what they're doing, whoever they're with, they're picking up on signs or reading the energy of their divine masculine. But there is something with this king of swords reversed where I feel like the feminine is looking at the masculine and saying, yeah, but you're not speaking about the things that we both know to be true. Um, and that is frustrating with the moon. I'm absolutely having to figure things out by myself um and going to the level of things like tarot readings and um you know trying to figure things out psychically and intuitively um as well as whatever i can figure out and piece together in the 3d as well okay what else is going on please I just realised I've got the decks mixed up. I wanted to use this deck for the masculine and the one I'm about to use for the feminine, um, which is very interesting in and of itself. I wonder if there's a flip of energy that's coming or has already happened here. Four of Pentacles reverse. So for some of you, you might even be watching this and feeling like, hmm, this, this doesn't sound like me. And then when I get to the Divine Masculine check-in, you might be thinking, okay, actually, right now that sounds like me. Okay, Four of Pentacles reversed, Knight of Wands reversed. We've got quite a few here. We've got the Lovers reversed, Twin Flames, um, Gemini. I wanted to say June. Of course, that's in June, but um, maybe timing-wise, June is significant, will be or has been. Page of Wands reversed, Nine of Swords reversed, Six of Pentacles. It feels like some divine feminines are opening up to the idea of a situation where there is mutual give and take in the 3D, not just energetically, not just psychically. It's almost like, look, maybe this has been a loss with my masculine. 
in this lifetime or the journey so far has been a loss I'm not going to stress it I'm opening up to something else because I want justice I want balance again that won't be for every feminine watching um But I do see that for some divine feminines. Maybe almost it's a head over heart decision in some cases. Yeah, Knight of Swords. That frustration. <clears throat> yeah, Will of Fortune. Maybe I should just move forward then and find balance, healing, temperance, equal give and take with someone who is open and available and ready and willing and as excited about me as I am about them and will show me that. Um, we've got double Sagittarius energy here. on the back five of wands reversed in some cases i don't think this is this for some feminines this will be exactly how they feel for others you know you'll be watching you'll be like no way it's all about my masculine and then there's this in, in between group where they're very frustrated right now so they're like fine i'll meet someone else but you know it's an energy that will simmer down i think um it might be like a reaction to feeling backed into a corner and ignored and not valued but they don't genuinely want to move on they don't feel ready to move on so if you're in that group and maybe you're even trying to date people and it keeps not working out and you're getting frustrated and upset maybe even with yourself or with spirit and you're like why do all these connections keep not working i wonder if it's because perhaps what you actually would prefer is for this situation with your divine masculine with your twin to be the one where there's reciprocity and equal give and take in which case you might not be fully ready to move forward or you might not fully want to move into something else and you know try and be okay with that within yourself you know it might just be a matter of time or it might be that something's going to shift here um more in the direction that you want so almost like your higher self is sort of pulling you back towards this connection um it could just be that it's good to take a break for now from the connection but not to replace it with something else romantic but to do something else anything else a hobby spend time with friends you know whatever it is um but yeah it feels to me i'm gonna say the overwhelming feeling from the divine feminines is a bit uh, it's like an, an interesting mix of frustration and i'm sick to death of trying to figure things out through excessive means and i'm not saying like oh a tarot reading is excessive but it's almost like maybe there have been numerous readings or it's been a long time and it's like i'm can't you just tell me wouldn't it be simple to just use your words and tell me why do i have to do all of this stuff so there's a feeling of that um but then there's also a feeling of independence i don't know if the independence has blossomed from this frustration um but a feeling of well i'm just going to do my own thing i'll make myself happy i'll meet someone who is able to use their words um yeah frustration i'm gonna say annoyance frustration um And feeling annoyed because it's like, whatever you, you're doing, Divine Masculine, I know you're faking it. I know it's an act. I know you're not happy, um, even if you're not admitting it. Okay, let me get a couple of cards of guidance and advice for the Divine Feminine. Okay, so let's start off with a Manifestation Moonology card, and then we'll move into the other Moonology deck that will give us some idea of you know what energy is coming in or where we're going here uh full moon in scorpio breathe through the tension yes exactly there is tension there is internal stress there is frustration um breathe through it so don't feel that you've got to make any rash quick changes or decide something that you later on might think actually this isn't for me you know, in the example I gave, maybe some feminines are trying to move forward, to move on, but these other connections aren't really working out. Okay, what's coming in? Where is this going? What can you pass on to my divine feminines, please? Don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. Okay, well, there could be something coming from the divine masculine because they're not letting pride get in their way um it could be there might be some reconciliation or forward movement and it requires both masculine and feminine to open up and to express i've been hurt and i know i have caused hurt you know and blah 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 um to not be prideful not be stubborn um 
there could be some, you know, with this breathe through the tension, pause, reflect, don't let pride get in your way. There could be something about um, not deconstructing the ego that that might <clears throat> result in some kind of psychological break, maybe, but um, reflecting upon the ego, probing it a bit. Um, if the feminine feels their ego has been triggered, um, asking why, what triggered it, why, um, why was that reaction I had, my particular reaction, how do I feel about that, you know, blah, blah, blah. So maybe some self-reflection here. Um, yeah. Okay, so let's put these back and then we will see what's going on with the Divine Masculine. I, um, yeah, I, I just feel some feminines might be feeling quite annoyed with their masculines. Um, but it's, I think maybe, honestly, it might be coming from a place of feeling rejected or ignored or hurt or passed over. Okay, so what's going on for my divine masculines, please, within this connection at this time? How are they feeling? How are they experiencing things? Page of Swords, spying, watching, potentially learning, growing. Nine of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles reversed. What's going on for the Divine Masculines, please? Oh, we have the Tower. I didn't even know that flipped around. Scorpio. Oh, and the Page of Swords is back. Okay, so hold on. We have the Nine of Swords. So yeah, they're not as cool and calm as they seem. Um, Page of Swords, the Tower. So some Divine Masculines could be watching the Divine Feminine, uh, their Divine Feminines, and they may have seen something, gathered something, learned something, they may even have seen something and misinterpreted if this isn't correct, but they've seen something as far as they're concerned that's causing them stress, panic, a tower moment. So they may feel that they've seen something where they think their divine feminine has moved on or isn't interested. Um, they could, they've had some sort of big epiphany here and with it being the tower versus say the ace of swords, it feels kind of almost like a negative shock. Let me clarify, let's see. It's almost like the thing they, for the divine divine masculines, you know, the, the thing that they were the most worried about seems to have manifested as far as they're concerned. Their biggest fear, whatever that is. Um, and if you're watching this as a divine masculine, you know, you can confirm if, if that's an experience you've had. Yeah, ten of wands. Yeah. Something that they've been carrying around as a big fear. It's felt like a burden. They feel they have seen manifest regarding their divine feminine. So let's keep going. So it looks like the divine masculines have been focusing on the 3D realm, work, finances, self-improvement in one way or another. And while they've been doing that, they feel the feminine has been working on perhaps their emotional internal realm because they looked at the feminines maybe as already being established in their 3D. And it doesn't just have to be work and, and finances at home. It could even be like um, self-confidence or the kind of person that the feminines were coming across as. The masculine had the opinion that the feminines were content with that, whereas the masculine has been working on themselves. Trying to get to a place where they were happy, or are happy, I should say, with, with who they are and how they're showing up. Yes, King of Swords. Remember we had that King of Swords just a moment ago reversed, and I felt that the feminines were saying... You know, we're we're exchanging so much emotion emotionally, energetically, but you're not just you know, you're not speaking about it. Here we have that King of Swords. Oh look, Ace of Swords reversed. Yeah, the thing they didn't see before they see now, but now it's like a rude awakening. Because they weren't being a team player before. So it might look like this. Let's say I'm a divine masculine I might, and, and my divine feminine is out there. Maybe when I first met my feminine, I was like, oh yeah, you're nice, you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I'm focusing on me. Then time goes by, I'm having all these realizations. Then I'm stalking my feminine and I see, oh my gosh, my feminine's got married or they've met someone. And what would have been an ace of swords 
realization before, like, hey, I'm really invested in this person, is now a tower moment because it's terrible because I've, I've, you know, I understand who this person is to me, but now maybe it's too late. So there's some realization they could have had sooner if they weren't so self-focused and it could, you know, they could have been self-focused, they could have been selfish, any or anywhere along that scale. But they see something now that they could have and probably should have noticed and seen before. Ace of Wands, yes, Three of Swords reversed, Four of Swords reversed, and whatever it is, they're finding it difficult to reconcile with this and accept it. This is the sort of thing where if this Divine Masculine is um, into things like manifestation and co-creation, they would say I've manifested this because this is a fear they've had that's been prevalent for so long that they've spent so much time worrying about that they would say, well, I kept aligning with it. I've, I've created it through my visualizations. Six of Cups reversed. So whatever it is, they, they feel like they're seeing evidence that the Divine Feminine is gone for good. Now, in some cases, for my masculines watching, yes, this may be true. In other cases, it's a fear-based thought, Nine of Swords, imagining worst-case scenarios. Um, and this could actually be taken as a nudge, a big nudge, from Spirit saying, well, if you're this concerned, that your feminine might move on and you might miss a chance this this is a good time to say something don't let it get to this point okay let's have a look at this ace of wands yeah seven of wands reversed um <laughs> i'm not saying that is rude i'm not saying that um There are masculines who are concerned that the feminine is moving on um, because they've connected someone specifically in a passionate way, that they are being fulfilled passionately. I'm just gonna <laughs> just gonna say it like that. So it could be uh, where is this reading going? Um, it could be, you know, if things. Oh, it could be that they're imagining scenes of their divine feminine with someone else in a passionate way and that's the thing they hate the most and that's the fear that they have of, of or that's the belief that they have that it, that's the thing they believe is now happening oh my god okay i think you get what i'm saying um whether it's real and, and something they're really seeing or as i said coming from this fear-based belief um we have judgment yeah they feel that, that the feminine is like you know what i'm moving on i'm so tired of you and in some cases you know, we did just see that energy of being frustrated and fed up from the feminines maybe the masculine is feeling that energetically and assuming okay right well then they, i'm guess i guess it must mean they've moved on or they're going to um okay so a lot of what's coming through is the attention the masculine is placing on the feminine and being panicked and feeling like oh gosh i've missed my chance they've moved on I'm getting all kinds of images pop up in my head and I'm hating them. It could even be they're having dreams that they're are really unpleasant and they're waking up and thinking, oh, I hope that's not true. Um, what else? What else is going on with the masculine, though? We have the sun reversed, Leo energy there. Okay, so there's a truth that will affect, yeah, base of pentacles, that will affect their... 3D manifested everyday life and they're almost trying not to see it even though it's blindingly obvious with the sun reversed so if there is a karmic or some third party interfering romantic or otherwise it's like the masculine is saying I know this situation is detrimental and I want to get out of this and I need to make a change here but um, the amount of upheaval it's going to cause is is huge and I'm always trying to ignore it because of that even though I can't ignore it That's not the Ace of Pentacles, sorry, that's the Magician. So we have Gemini energy there. And the world. Hmm. Okay, that's very empowered then. The Magician and the world. So I would say this is a masculine who either A, 
It is interested and does know about things like manifestation and co-creation and the power and influence they have over what they attract into their life. And they're using that to bring about a change and an ending. Or this is a masculine who has complete faith and confidence in their ability to impose themselves upon their 3D reality and force change. So maybe almost like a distorted um, masculine energy. So, you know, divine masculine energy that we all have, man, woman, male, female, is I'm taking action, I'm bringing something into creation, into existence. I'm using my energy, my effort, my will to, to move something forward. The feeling I get here is that, but like times 10, like I'm going to force a change. I'm going to force something to happen. I'm going to impose myself on this situation. I'm going to make it work for me. There's no balance here. Um, but with the sun reversed, there's something shadowy about this. So, for example, instead of this being a divine masculine who's saying, I need to break away from someone who's having a negative influence on, on me, I think I'll just tell them it's over or I need some space or whatever it is. I'm going to show up in a way that is so unbearable that this person wants to leave, or I'm going to manipulate this situation so that this person will leave first or that they will pull away. Um, so they're not making their true intention known. It's There's something shadowy and hidden about it. Um, okay. Oh. Six of Pentacles, we've got the Three of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. So yeah, in some cases the masculine is saying, yes, I have a karmic, I have a third party, I have a spouse, um, and this situation is exhausting and it's not getting any better, and I feel drained, I feel like my resources, my time, my energy is being drained, and I want this person gone, but I don't want to be the one to leave, so I'm going to push them away. Um... But whatever this is, it's like, yeah, I'm, I'm forcing a change in my environment. I'm bringing something to an end, but I'm not being upfront about my motivations or intentions. Oh, okay, this is some heavy energy. And I, th I feel like right now it's bouncing back and forth between the masculine and the feminine. So whichever side you're on, I would definitely say it might be a good time to take a break, go on a walk, take a breath, do a meditation, whatever you need to do. For some reason I'm hearing going swimming. So someone maybe swims. Um, because there's frustration coming from the feminine, stress coming from the masculine, um, fear, which then is triggered into anger because it's like, I hate the thoughts I'm having, I hate the images I'm having about my feminine. The feminine being like, well, if you're not gonna do anything, I'll just move on. And in some cases trying to move on, but not being able to, because what they actually want is the masculine to show that they care, that it won't have to move on. The masculine is angry with some third party that is, is attached to them on their side, which doesn't mean that the feminine does not have a third party, maybe, but it's the masculine that's very focused on their third party, whoever or whatever that is, and trying to force. It's like an emergency stop, you know, like on a train or whatever, vehicle or even on a, you know, a bicycle, um, instead of slowing to a stop, it's like I'm um, forcing an emergency stop. Um... And that's creating a feeling of tension in their experience as well. Oh, gosh, right. Okay, let's get um, guidance and advice for the masculine then. Whoa. Yeah, look at this. Last quarter moon in Libra, make time for self-love. Yeah, we all need to just take a minute and breathe. Whoa. <laughs> Oh my gosh, and then this just fell out. What do you need to release? Release. Release. What do you need to release exactly? And it's a that's a thing. It's a balance. That's that feels like almost very divine feminine energy. I'm being, I'm existing, I'm going with the flow. This isn't working for me. I'm releasing it. It's not like I'm forcing it to end. I'm forcing it to die. I will crush this thing. You know? Yes, you're right, masculine in that it's got to go, but it doesn't have to be so angry and intense just release it you know um you have to force it to die to force it to end okay so i will leave this here please let me know if this resonates whichever side you're on um yeah very intense but um anyway thank you for watching 
and uh, I will be back soon. Okay, bye.